Were the policies laid out last night enough to sway voters, especially ones who haven't yet decided? For that, let's turn now to Darren Von Ruden of the Wisconsin Farmers Union. That group has yet to endorse a candidate. Darren, welcome. It's great to have you. Do you typically endorse uh, candidates in the past? Well, thanks for having me, Kelly. And uh, no, we uh, are a nonpartisan group here in the state of Wisconsin. Um, certainly over the years, we've had members that would uh, like us to get into that uh, sector of endorsing candidates, but uh, we have not and we won't this, this year neither. What is the number one policy issue for you then when you, you want to hear either candidate say what exactly to tell you that's the person we're, we're going to support? Well, how is their policies going to affect what farmers are being paid and how their markets are being affected? And uh, certainly over the last three years, we've uh, seen some uptick in pay prices on um, all commodities across the, the sector of agriculture. Um, but the previous four years with the trade wars that we had, um, we're still feeling some of those effects um, here today at uh, looking at uh, the agricultural trade deficit, uh, something that we have not had a three year running deficit for quite a while, but we're seeing that currently and uh, looking at, you know, the dairy state, state of Wisconsin, uh, dairy prices are at a better rate now than they were during most of the Trump years. So do you think then the Biden administration has been better for dairy farmers than the Trump administration was? Well, you know, looking at the statistics, yes. Uh, you know, we've seen a better pay price, although, uh, you know, looking at the overall um, outcome, uh, our input costs have risen under the Biden administration. But how much that is actually the effects of the trade wars or the effects of COVID, um, you know, those are things that have uh, have to be looked at by uh, farmers across the country. Do your members tend to be swing voters, the types who would have voted for Obama and then Trump, for instance? Uh, you know, we have a few of those. Uh, certainly, the, as the, an organization that doesn't endorse, uh, we have members that are uh, voting for all the different parties and uh, certainly have a, a, quite a few that are in the middle. When you say that the Biden administration has potentially been more friendly, it, it, judging on kind of the price of milk, what about the consumers who say, you know, we, we want you to make a living, but we would appreciate if that milk price could come down substantially? Yeah, you know, certainly looking at that, uh, you know, how, how, when was the last time that prices dropped substantially on anything over the past few decades? Um, but looking at what the Biden administration has been doing on the antitrust issues, monopoly issues, uh, making sure that uh, corporations aren't out there uh, stealing from the farmer and then also not uh, overcharging the consumer. Has that been your experience? Uh, yes. You know, looking at what's happened over the last uh, two, two years or so now, um, there's certainly been a lot more attention paid to the monopoly antitrust issues. And when you're looking at the Kroger-Albertson uh, merger that's being proposed right now, uh, it's definitely not going to be a good thing for farmers because when you have less uh, competitors out there to buy your product, your price usually goes down. Interesting. So you're interested in having a variety of uh, suppliers so that your costs don't go up too much and, and markets to sell to. Uh, Darren, I can kind of guess which way you're leading, uh, but I, I, I won't put you on the spot unless you'd like to make any news right now. No, that's uh, quite okay. I'll stay where I'm at. Understood. Uh, thanks for joining us here on The Exchange. Darren Von Ruden.